Tell us what it's all about. Both of you have been involved Good morning, in this for James. a while. Uh, this is Michael James, uh, your co-host this morning. It's great to be up here with uh, these two women. Both of them have worked very hard over the years on The Artist on the Wall. So why don't you uh, tell our listeners just what The Artist on the Wall here in Rogers Park is. It's probably the, I don't know, the most fun festival that the neighborhood does. Uh, Families or groups can come down to Loyola Beach and take a section of the seawall and paint it. And they can really paint almost anything they want to, although we do have a theme every year. This year's theme is Wall of Dreams, kind of taken off of Field of Dreams. So it's like I was paint, wondering it about and it, paint it and they will come. Paint it and they will come. Right. Uh, this is actually, you, you mentioned I've worked on this myself, but not so much in the last two years, which happens to be the time that Kathy stepped up to the plate big time. I'm uh, now I know why it's gotten so much better. <laughs> no, it's, oh, I it's a great that. Ev- no, it's a great event, and I think both of you should Gee take whiz. a lot of credit. I'm, Anger. It's just my weird humor, uh, but oh. here on a Saturday morning. Thank you for telling us what that was. <laughs> but it's like, uh, it's about 100 yards of... Uh, Sections divided off five feet, maybe five feet. Um, some it's actually sometimes a little, a little less, less than yeah, five feet, right. um, but it is 600 feet and of it's wall. corners and stairs and any sometimes light posts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll paint anything. Yes. You know, I was cruising around yesterday uh, downtown on Long Hubbard Street, and Hubbard Street was the first place I saw years ago. Like uh, each panel along a, a railroad embankment had a, a different mural of animals, and then. Uh, uh, what we have up here in Rogers Park is not such big panels, but we have lots and lots of little panels, and it changes every year, so they don't fade out. Uh, you every year you uh, paint it over. Every uh, year, every and year. And the next yeah. thing you know, it gets redone with uh, the new theme. It, yes, and it doesn't have to be specific to the theme, but we love to theme it because that gives you a jumping-off point. Plus, um, plus you've got. Um, uh, cash prizes oh, for right. those who do uh, paint to the theme. That's right? right. And the cash prizes are divided by age groups. So mm-hmm. young children have a prize. Right. Middle-aged people have a prize. I, I don't think we can call <laughs> teens middle-aged. No. I okay. know you. I know we want to off what that on some other age. No, we don't know that oh, anymore. Uh, when us, do we start middle-aged? We are. We are middle-aged. It's I'm official. Not old. I'm just no, a middle-aged. No, sixty guy. is the new middle age. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, you know, I have a, one serious question about this event. And oh, is, please. What are its origins? Who thought it up? Do you know? No, okay. I don't. I, I know. Uh, unfortunately, most of the people who thought it up are either no longer in the neighborhood or no longer active on the event. But um, I remember a, a great artist who lived. It was mostly the neighbors east of Sheridan Road who thought it up. Basically, it was a result of seeing too many um, words they didn't want their kids to see uh, painted on that, that stretch of wall. Brilliant. What, it, for those who don't know what it is, it's this huge actual bench wall. So it's not just a wall going straight down, it's a wall with a Between bench in it. Between the sidewalk next to the sand and the the grass and the of park. the park. Exactly. Um, just between the sand and the park. And so those neighbors got together and formed something called uh, Loyola Beach Neighbors and started this festival. It was a handful of people, but a couple of the key folks were artists who decided that everyone has an artist in them, which, you know, I, I assume everybody at this table agrees with. Absolutely. And uh, allowed for the notion uh, to have a festival of a weekend where the at the start of the summer, it became the way we kicked off the summer in that park, basically. It's on usually on Father's Day weekend. Exactly. It's Father's Day weekend, and it's usually pretty warm down there, so... Well, we hope so, because today like to it's like early. about 62, <laughs> hey, and we I'm, only got a week until the festival, but I'm it'll relieved. probably be steaming by next no, week. No, no, it'll be perfect. Yeah, it'll be perfect. I hope. Yeah. You know, there's a... Uh, let me just throw this in, because uh, they're a little south of there, um, at the Pratt Street Beach, there's a wall that has a slogan on it. Do you remember what that slogan says? Sure. When is it still there? Sure. It gets, what does it say? Um, <laughs> this, uh, get really close to other human beings this lifetime. Yeah. It uh-huh. actually started out by started, saying, it got switched get, around. get really close to another human being this lifetime. And then it got generalized for, by 
folks who couldn't quite mate up. <laughs> and then it went back to get really close to another human being this lifetime in big block letters that you can see if you're out on a sailboat in the lake. Yeah, I just wondered. I'd that, like to try that. That did get Thank painted. You. That got painted over one time. Oh, I, it got painted and over. And I wondered who was painting it over, the, the neighbors, the city? No, no, it was the you know graffiti buster guys who are very uh, ambitious and didn't <laughs> actually recognize it was a message from us to God and back again. Yeah. Um, so it, it had to be re applied a few times, but I don't think, I haven't walked down on the beach because I'm no longer a beachside resident, um, so I, I'm assuming it's still there. It was there last year. If it's not, uh, Artists of the, will put Artists of the Wall up. weekend is a weekend for it to reappear. Right. Murals have become really a thing here in the neighborhood, you know, with all of the viaducts being painted, and this is another chance for just regular families exactly. to come and paint a mural, and exactly. it's fun. And the, the cool thing, uh, I mean, right now, if anybody listening to us who wants to see the art, this is the week to see it because it will get painted over, it will get whitewashed maybe as quickly as Monday. Right, yeah. Um, and the line's drawn for the new uh, spaces. And then when the new wall goes up, the coolest thing is to walk to the end of the pier and look back. Right, yes. And, and see all those bright colors. What's the, uh, do, are there videotapes or film of uh, previous years to say someone kept those? I know we have still pictures. We, I, we do have some videos. Yeah. We do have some, uh, we have a number of videos. There was a guy who used to come regularly and <laughs> go along and talk to the artists as they were painting and video. Oh. And I have a couple of those CDs. And oh, that would be great does. someday to put together in some website in the neighborhood. That would be good up. for the Historical Society yeah. to yeah. have, actually. Yeah. Actually, that uh, would be talking about the Rogers Park West Ridge Historical Society. That Thank would be, you. yeah. Who, With who a are new our office at our new Greenview and Morse Avenue. I hear they want to look at your office as a historical funky place, Michael. They do. They want to They really have do. A they want to get in over there. there. <laughs> there. There's a lot of pressure, though, because we also want to turn it into a bigger rock venue of the Red Line Tap. So uh, I have to decide where these archives of many years of Students for Democratic Society, Rising Up Angry, Black Panther Party, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway. Where it goes. Back to what Artists do I of do the with Wall. All this stuff? The 18th Annual Artists of the Wall Festival is sponsored by whom? Um, well, first of all, let me just Loyola say you are Park listening Advisory to WLUW 88.7 Chicago Sound Alliance. Okay. Yeah, Loyola Park Advisory Council, Rogers Park Community Council, and the Chicago Park District. Yeah. Um, we should say that people need to be at, at the park at 9 a.m. next Saturday if they want to paint. The early registration is closed. Yes. Um, these squares always sell out. Oh, absolutely. And, and in fact, they sell out so much so that um, we had to make a rule about 10 or 15 years ago, if you have not painted on your space by 2 p.m. on Saturday, it will be sold out right out from underneath you. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is there any scalping going on? Do people try to nah. sell their slots? Nah. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe. Michael, Michael. <laughs> there you go, babe. Just, all right. Anyway, there's other stuff. There's music. There's music. There is a uh, tent for children to make art, and not just children, children and anyone who wants to can sit in the all ages tent and make art with um, Eve with Eve and she has some games planned and I, I heard that she's going to do um, a balloon toss this water balloon toss this year oh that'll be fun she had asked Especially me she said uh, how do you do a balloon how, what, how, what would you call the balloon fight I'd say I said to her Eve I'd call it a balloon toss, toss yes. <laughs> I'll so people aren't the overhand or dodging throwing the balloons. Them. And there's water in them. Yeah, there's that water. might feel good if it gets hot. <laughs> exactly. And then the stage, which has now been moved over to the wind form uh, sculpture over at Pratt, which actually works so much better. Um, music is played all day, both days, from noon till 5 p.m. Yes. Who's in coordinating the music this year? Because uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Bill Page, Yo, who for Billy. many, many years handled the music, booked some great acts. Uh, he's moved down near. Austin, Texas, and uh, he's on a. He actually has a radio show on Friday mornings 
out of uh, Dripping Springs, Texas. Yeah. I'm not sure what the public station is there, but Bill Page, uh, he's keeping busy doing music down yeah, there Yeah, he's now. doing a great job. So who's up this year? He, he, yeah, for many years he did the um, music, and actually Lucy Smith has taken over uh, booking the music, and her quartet will be playing on Sunday afternoon. But also the younger Page, Will Oney Page, will be playing also oh, on Saturday at uh, noon, right after the young men's drum team plays. Um, they they're kicking off the program this year. Should be wonderful time. I hope everybody comes down. If you're not going to paint, just come down and plop yourself in the park, have a picnic, walk around and watch everyone else paint. Um, to me, one of the coolest things that is, is just going, being there while the painting is going on. Right. Uh, you know, I would say primo time is about 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon through noon on Sunday when everyone is just intently applying paint to that <laughs> raggedy blankety blank wall oh, yeah. um, with their little sponge brushes or whatever they can come up with. And strange headwear. <laughs> yes. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, umbrellas up against the blazing sun. Right. Right. Uh, we only we only give the shady spots to the oldsters like, like me. us. I, like I get us. it. I get it. <laughs> I'm hoping I got a spot near you. I thought we were middle aged, oh, right. not oldsters. Yeah, well, yeah, okay, right. okay. Yeah. You're not over Whoops. sixty. <laughs> I, I am over sixty actually. Oh, yeah. No, what's old age now? Over oh. ninety, okay? Right. Your mom. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. My mom. My mom is eighty eight. She's pushing old age. Ah, uh, mine's ninety seven. She's got it. She wins. Um <laughs> All right, so the Artist of the Wall Festival, which is, you know, a wonderful neighborhood fest. It's sponsored by a whole slew of neighborhood groups. Rogerspark.com um, has been tremendous Clark support. Devon Hardware get, oh. gets us some paint. They're very, they very major important. shout out yeah. to the Clark Devon Hardware guys who have been terrific. Um, but some of the other sponsors on the program are Glenwood Avenue Arts Fest, uh, JB Alberto's, Lifeline Theater, Heartland Cafe, Duke. Greenleaf um, Arts Center. Yeah. Hey, before you go, let's talk about the Greenleaf Arts Center. Ah, that's what I want to know about. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, Tell, I know about get that. Get us up to date, girl, on your place, your we wonderful spot. Are, we're happily still uh, making art on Greenleaf. We okay. were the um, we were awarded a uh, grant by the Rogers Park Garden Group and did some landscaping this year, which is gorgeous. Terrific. We'd love to be awarded it again, but we is have to wait another year. Is that the parkway? Is that on the parkway, it's or is in, it in the no, back? No, it's in the front of, of the Arts Center. Okay. We did uh, some work on the building this year. We have a great big window in the front, which is really opening it up. It looks less like an old warehouse now, and it more like an terrific. art center. Yeah. And we're going to have our artists do a monthly showing in the window. So it'll change every month and neighbors can see some of the art that's going on in the building. We still have our two shows a year. We just had one in May, which was well attended. We had about 500 people Yikes. come through. I know, it's phenomenal. And uh, we'll do another one in October. Well, congratulations to you and Dennis for creating a terrific... So, do you do art classes over there? We do art classes. And then you, out of the art classes, you put on shows, or do you have uh, artists in the neighborhood or we beyond our, come in and do shows? We had our first student exhibit this year, uh, two weeks before our big group show, and it was wonderful. Uh, people came, of course, to see their family's artwork, but it just... It's so much fun to see people that are just learning to participate in art get excited over being, you know, in an exhibit and uh, showing their art. Well, as someone who took an art class there, I was so uh, surprised to find that I would not be able to take one this summer because you guys actually... We are taking the summer off. What do you think you are, CPS teachers yeah, or something? I, think, I don't know. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. We're much more creative. I mean, <laughs> so you get to take the summer off, and when will the next art classes start up? September? In October. October. Octo Mid-October, we'll have a full slate, and we're going to rethink some of our classes that haven't been running well uh -huh. and, and get some new energy in What there. sort of classes do you have? I mean, is it just painting? Is there is there charcoal? Is there uh, paint? Is there uh, any sculpture going on? What, what do you got? There's painting and drawing in all media. There's figure drawing. There's portraiture. There's collage and assemblage is a really big class for us now. We're one of the only places in the city that really gets into taking something from
from 2D into 3D, and then creating sculpture out of found objects. Uh, we did do, you have a cartooning class, did I notice? We have a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Cartooning class actually is now called Comic Book Club. Okay, I like uh, that. We have character drawing, caricature drawing. Right, right. And um, large canvas abstract acrylic painting. We've got so many classes. Classes for adults, classes for children. Um, well, and, you know, if somebody wants to take a class and can't find it anywhere and calls and has two or three other people that want to take it, I'll find the teacher for them and then we'll set up the class. Well, fellow Mundelein graduate who was, you know... Uh, you both went to Mundelein? Yes, we did. Dear. Yes, we yes, did. We did. At slightly different times. <laughs> but really slightly. And, yeah, that's uh, true. Um, yeah, I, I, love the, I love everything about what you guys have put together in our neighborhood and, and the fact that you've become part of the Artists of the Wall Committee, which is a hardworking bunch, um, makes it a better thing. And thank you for thank everything you. you do. So thank you. what do people need to know um, if, if they want to take part in uh, next week's Artists of the Wall Festival? They just need to be at the park at 9 a.m. to register, and they will get their square assigned to them or their piece of the wall. And then uh, they can either pre-purchase paint if they know they have a spot, or Clark Devon Hardware does supply paint in, a, in the paint tent. So all they have to do is come to the park at 9. Yeah. And where do they come? They come to the lakefront at Farwell? Yes. Exactly, right near the tennis courts. The only be a, there's a tent set up, and they'll they'll see the. The tent. only thing we've got to give people a warning that there will not be that many places left on no, Saturday morning. No, that's why they need to be there early because if they're not there early, the places will all be gone. It'll be gone. That's right. It's a popular thing. It is, and it's a fun thing. It's a totally fun thing, and it's the way Rogers Park says hello to summer on the lakefront. Right. All right, Kathy Pollock, thank you so much and for thanks all for coming your good on. work. Thank you, guys. Well, all right, let's have a big round of applause for Kathy Pollock.